Hi everyone, it's Jen on the go. Welcome or welcome back to this channel. I have another update from an Instacart bigwig and I'm going to share with you his entire email to me, which includes a Costco update along with a special request from him asking the viewers on this channel for help. You have to hear this, so stay with me because we are getting into this right now. Okay, let's go. I shared with you guys recently in a video the email conversation that I had with somebody who works in the higher up departments for Instacart. I'm going to link that video in the description box below just in case you missed it so that you can get caught up. Since this individual emailed me that first time, I have been responding back to him and coming at him relentlessly with additional questions on behalf of shoppers. Well, I finally did hear back from him this week and I'm going to be completely transparent in what he told me. It is clear that Instacart is paying attention to these videos and also paying attention to what you guys are stating in the comment section below because this person told me that he is. So please, if you can weigh in here, this would be really helpful for all of the shoppers on this channel. So I'm going to share with, share with you the first part of the email that he emailed to me right now. Sorry, Jen, it's been crazy lately here. I'm not sure what you'd call corporate. Corporate really isn't familiar with policies and processes. Pretty sure I know more about how it works, at least on the shopper part. About the title, sorry, I can't maybe when i leave instacart but yes the people you reach out to in the chat are all outsourced even the ones within the states there's agent supervisor manager site manager and then vendor manager which is the first person who is directly employed by us i'm quite a few positions above that wish i get more time to watch your videos and comment on them i left a couple also to reply to you hee <laughs> hee you can ask me more. I can't promise I will reply shortly, but you bet I will get back to you. So just to clarify, when he stated to me about the title, sorry, I can't, maybe if and when I leave Instacart, I specifically asked him several times what his exact title is with Instacart, and he is in no way ready to disclose this position at this time. So. One of the first questions I asked him was the Costco ban because I am still receiving emails from all of these viewers and shoppers who are still getting deactivated. He was clear about the Costco ban and he stated this, I'm going to read you verbatim his email to me. Well, the Costco ban is a really complicated thing to resolve. It needs several teams from Instacart engineering, developers, management, and then getting all those working together with our, cart, uh, with our Costco partnership reps, which is hard. I've tried to get them all on the same call, but it's just crazy here lately. Everyone is busy with their own duties. It just doesn't have that much attention here because we can still supply Costco with shoppers as we are. So sadly, I think it's a dead end for now. And again, I've received emails from shoppers as of this morning asking me for the update. And you're hearing him state that because the customers are still being serviced from Costco, this isn't a priority for them. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments below. He's stating it is a dead end regarding the Costco ban. And it's unfortunate, but again, this is what he's telling us. On to the next part. About issues related to accounts deactivated, everyone gets an appeal. It may be denied. If it's denied, it's permanent. Trust and safety only receive emails that are replied to their own emails, so you can't contact them unless they have a ticket open with you so they send you an email. I would only suggest shoppers continue to reply to the most recent email they got from them. And I want to add here that I've been getting a lot of questions regarding deactivations. How do we get back on? And the answer is, I do believe it's permanent. I've not seen many shoppers able to get their accounts back. Having said that, I know that it happens, but they are probably the exception to the rule. A lot of people lately have been asking me about a company called Cover. I want to tell you, in my honest opinion, I don't know much about them. I can tell you they have reached out to me on two separate occasions asking me to represent them and to rep them. 
and I am not comfortable doing that because I haven't seen anybody that has worked with Cover get their accounts back. So just be very careful, you guys, when you go to the Cover link that you just make sure you know what you're getting into. And again, I'm just answering the questions that I received from shoppers regarding Cover. Should they do it? I don't know, but I can tell you this. I haven't had anybody come to me stating that they were reactivated after they spent money with Cover, and I'm not representing a company that I know doesn't for sure work, period. I'm going to give it straight to you though. Practically anyone can be an Instacart shopper. We have a wait list pretty much on every area. So take a look at California or even Seattle. They passed laws that forced us to give better working conditions with the shoppers. That's what shoppers need to be fighting for. But that comes with consequences too. A better job makes it more competed. You know what the average star rating in most of California is? 4.94. If you're at a 4.94 or below, you don't get very good batches. So yeep, practically anyone can be a shopper. Not everyone can be a good shopper. Very few can be great, hee <laughs> hee. I really think the current system is fair, at least as fair as it can be. I realize it has its flaws, but wouldn't you agree Great shoppers deserve the best batches. Obviously, we then have to agree on what defines a great shopper or how to measure it. Currently, the last 100 delivered orders define your rating. Instacart automatically forgives one of the lowest ratings you get. It also forgives the ratings due to out of stock items, bad weather, Marketa outages, and other more complex scenarios. From your city or region, an average rating is calculated from all the active shoppers. Then there are three tiers, above average, average, or below average, visible on the How Am I Doing page. A customer places an order, it's immediately shown to all top tier shoppers, then they get a few minutes to take it. If it's not taken, it starts showing to the tier two average shoppers. And then if they don't take it, tier three shoppers can take it. I know this is not perfect. For example, during the start of the pandemic, we automatically forgave every bad rating the shoppers got. This gave every single shopper in the area a rating of five stars when we stopped this policy of forgiving and returned the prioritization system, every city region had an average rating of five, duh. So a very good shopper who did everything right receives a bad rating for whatever reason, he, she gets a 4.98 rating. That's now below average. Took about four months to stabilize and I believe it is now a very good system that gives the best batches to our best shoppers, but I'm open to suggestions, hee <laughs> hee. I'm going to read to you the next portion of his email because this is the good part. He states, maybe you should do a video explaining this, reply to me with any doubts you have about it, and then ask the shoppers for ideas on how we should distribute the batches. We can't give the best batches to everyone and we can't charge our customers more. And Instacart does not have to pay shoppers more. Notice the we don't need to attract more shoppers. There's a wait list to work for Instacart in every city. As I mentioned, maybe get every local state government to regulate this kind of labor like California and Seattle did getting sidetracked. So a video asking the community for suggestions on how to distribute the batches without charging customers more and without Instacart spending more for the reasons I mentioned, even if it gets regulated there, there will still be bad, good, great batches because of customer tips. Sorry if my email is without form or confusing, don't have much time, so I free typed in less than 10 minutes. I'm on my way to Atlanta from San Francisco to respond to at least one of your long shots, haha. -ha. Maybe chatting through hangouts or something would work better. Send me an invite, warm regards. So that was the email from him to me 
in its entirety. I immediately responded back to him, and you better believe it, took him up on his offer to invite him for a Google Hangout session or any other platform I would be willing to speak with him on. I'm going to send him the invitation link next week and you guys will be the first to know when and if he responds. I'm hopeful that he will respond though. I have a good feeling about it. What I did think was promising from that last email piece that I, that I read to you is he said, ask the viewers what they suggest regarding how we distribute the batches. So we know right now the batches are distributed on the rating system, which is flawed. It is not fair. So many people are unfairly burned and it is not okay. Therefore our incomes are compromised. He's asking for suggestions. So I'm going to ask all of you if you would please comment in the comment section of this video because I know for sure that he will read the comments. So let's offer him as many solutions as we can possibly give him so that we can be heard. And this isn't the time to come off on the attack mode because we won't get anywhere if we are attacking. It just doesn't work that way. So I'm asking you to just offer really viable solutions and maybe your stories of what you've gone through so that we can, so that he can see just how many shoppers this does affect. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to do this um, because I want to show him that the, the viewers and the shoppers do care and they are responsive and they will respond. And I'm gonna call him on his bluff. So again, I need your help in this. So please offer a solution, a helpful solution or anything else you can think of that he would respond to. Thank you all so much. And I'm very excited to announce that this Thursday, we will be featuring our very first viewer spotlight series person that is a shopper viewer on this channel. I am so excited. We are filming that this week. And again, the video will be uploaded this Thursday. I will make an announcement in the community tab once it is all set up. And to all of the rest of you who have emailed me, I did not respond back to everyone, but I have everyone categorized. I'm going to get to all of you this week and make sure everybody has a, a slot on the calendar to be spotlighted. So please, if you are interested in your voice being heard on this platform, this is like a Q&A type of setting, very casual, just to let everybody know where other shoppers are from, what they do, how they deal with being a gig worker, what their pros and cons are, whatever you wanna talk about, you can. It'll be just a casual setting. So please, if you're interested, email me that you are. And again, if I haven't responded to you yet, I promise I'm working on it and I will. I'm going to put my email address in the comment section below, not in the comment section, in the description box so that you have it. So yes, email, email me, please. We wanna feature you. I wanna feature all of you because you all have a voice and you need to be heard. Thank you all so much for taking the time to be with me on this channel, for subscribing to this channel, for liking the videos, for sharing them, and for your engagement. I have enjoyed so much getting to know all of you through the comments, through the emails, and through Instagram. I respect all of you immensely. It is not easy to work in the gig economy where we don't have a voice, we don't have a say so, we have uncertainty with what's going to happen with any of these platforms. I just want you to know that you're not alone and I support all of you and, I, and we all need to support each other because we can't do it without kindness and support and knowledge. So again, thank you all. If you haven't subscribed and you want to, make sure you do so and hit the bell so that you are notified when I upload videos, which is every Sunday and Thursday. I hope everyone had a great week and that you are making your goals for this coming up week and that you hit them. And if you don't, it's okay because you can always start over the next day. Don't be hard on yourselves. I love you all. Take care. Talk to you soon.